Welcome back in, guys. Well, as you guys can see, we are joined now by a special guest. And Matt, we are blessed, we are honored, and we are privileged to have this young man here with us. Now, you guys probably already know who he is. He doesn't really need an introduction. But I'm going to go ahead and do it for the sake of it because it's on the teleprompter. <laughs> he was a College Insider National Player of the Week, All Big Sky Conference honorable mention. He also led the Sac State Hornets in scoring, in three-pointers made, and steals, which means he gets it done on both sides of the court. You see that? He's also one of the most clutch players in the country, and his uh, basketball tape will show that. With no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Zach Chappelle is here with us on this evening. Zach, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Now, Zach just wrapped up his illustrious collegiate career with the Sac State Hornets under David Patrick this past year. Um, I understand you just had a workout with the Sacramento Kings a few weeks ago. Um, how exciting has this last five months been for you? Yeah, it's been incredible. Um, obviously, the workout with the Kings, um, but then I got engaged. I've been working out with a bunch of pros. Like It's, it's been hit after hit after hit. Um, but yeah, now I'm really starting all over. So I went from being an older guy, right, a veteran or whatever, I'm going to call it, into now where I'm pretty much back in this freshman role where I have to learn the pro game, learn how to be a pro, learn how to take care of my body and all that stuff. So now I'm just leaning on um, the older guys that I work out with, um, with Gus Armstead and, and those guys, and hopefully um, what they have I can use and, and turn into a real pro. You got the rookie duties incoming. Just warning you. <laughs> rookie duties, rookie duties <laughs> are incoming. Keegan Murray had to buy Chipotle, or rather a Chick-fil-A on every road trip, so we're be ready for that. But, I mean, you talk a little bit about that workout with the Sacramento Kings. And you don't have to give us the inside details, but we've been in the practice facility. Kevin Herter, when he first saw it, called it like a basketball sanctuary. I mean, a gorgeous state-of-the-art experience for you to play, playing with top players and top recruits around the United States and internationally. Yeah. What was that experience like for you working out for uh, your hometown NBA team? Yeah, it was incredible. Um, when I got the call, um, obviously I'm excited, start sweating, right? My hands are sweating and stuff. Um, but it was great. Their facilities are incredible. Um, it was really a dream come true to just be working out in front of their front office, in front of their coaches, um, in front of their guys. And so, I mean, I'm honored. I'm thankful. Um, and we'll really see what can happen next. And it wasn't just you in front of a dude with a clipboard. Like, you were in front <laughs> of how many people? Tell us the people that you were working out in front of. You had an audience. Yeah, all their coaches, um, Coach Mike Brown, um, all Coach Bobby Jackson, all the G League coaches, staff. Um, their general manager, all the front office guys. So it was, it was a pretty packed house in there. And Fox and Murray were there too, right? Fox and Man. Murray as well, yeah. No pressure, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you know, you talked about it just being a dream to be able to do this. Now, Zach is a local. He's from Sacramento. He graduated from Capital Christian High School. Was this kind of a surreal experience for you? Growing up in Sacramento, obviously following the Kings, um, playing here in high school, and then being on that court auditioning really to be a member of the Kings. How surreal was that? It was extremely surreal. <laughs> um, it was something that, you know, like I said, you only see in a dream. It wasn't anything that I was like kind of expecting. So when I got the call, I'm like, of course I'll be there. Like, <laughs> you know, but it was a great experience. Uh, forever grateful, forever thankful for that. Well, I know Zach Chappelle would love to suit up in, in Kings Purple, but you'll Definitely. go wherever that phone call comes from. You'll go whoever yeah. calls your number. What do you want or what have you wanted, even during this, the workout with the Sacramento Kings, but for all NBA teams, G League teams, scouts, whoever it is, what do you want them to know about who Zach Chappelle, the player and the person, is? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, um, who I am as a person. I'm a leader. I'm a great guy. I'm really a guy about culture. Um, that's what I take pride in on all my teams, and then on the court, um, I'll do whatever it takes to, to win. Uh, I want to I wanna win at a high level. I'm willing to play defense, willing to, you know, guard. Um, I try to shoot, right, shoot a lot of threes, um, but really whatever coach needs. Um. You are one of the most humble people I've ever met as far as uh, covering sports. We have to brag and, for him. It, I know, right? Exactly. There you go. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, like your, your humility is second to none, so shout out to your parents. They did a phenomenal job. Yeah. But... The funny thing with you, Zach, is you're the nicest, most humble person off the court. But on the court, you're a straight-up dog. <laughs> How do you flip that switch and channel that Mamba mentality or whatsoever when you step on the, the hardwood? I mean, it's really, uh, it, I think it's just, it's really just part of the game. Um, obviously, I can be who I am um, outside of the court, but when we're on the court, my dad always taught me it's, it's, it's go time. It's time to, 
you know, be who you are on the court. So being able to compartmentalize um, on the court and being that dog that you're talking about, but then still being the same guy to shake your hand and be like, hey, good game after is um, what my parents taught me. Now, we're in NBA draft time. Draft is next week. This is the time where experts, and I use air quotes and I put myself in that category, we have scouts <laughs> and everybody trying to label who the next star is, who the surefire pick is, and you see a lot of labels on players, right? Like, this is what they do well, this is what they struggle with, this is their player comparison, which is also w really silly but kind of fun to do. Like, when I don't know if you've seen any labels upon yourself that you maybe like or dislike, but you already talked about what you want teams to know about you. What do you want your basketball label to be, or what would you say would be an accurate Zach Chappelle label for this draft class going in, that you would want teams and fans to know of what you bring? That I'm going to do whatever it takes, um, and then I'm going to love whatever city I'm in, wherever I'm at. I'm going to show love to their community. I'm going to show love um, to the team and do whatever it takes for them. Matt mentioned player comparisons. Is there any particular NBA player out there you model your game after, or you say, you know what, he, he models his game after me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. There's a couple players who I really like. Um, obviously, like you talked about, Gabe Vincent. Um, my favorite player is Jamal Murray. So mm -hmm. um, having those two go head to head was great to see. I um, mean, also Dame Lillard, having him being from Oakland, which is pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, but I say those three are my favorite guys to watch. Your goals and aspirations are much more bigger than basketball heading forward. You have uh, aspirations of opening up a school and giving back. Can you talk a little bit about your, uh, your dreams there? Yeah, so my life um, personally was transformed when I was probably about 14, 15 years old. Um, and what I want to do, and I've, I've had a mentor um, by the name of Charvis Franklin, who we talked about earlier, um, but he's kind of walked with me through life and walked me through some things and um, been a great addition to my family. Um, and I really just want to do that same thing with um, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, um, basketball players, right, that want to, one, get better at basketball, but also um, want to learn professionalism, how to be um, professional human beings, not just professional athletes. Um, and the main thing that we want to talk about is our faith. How can you be a man of God and still be a high-level athlete and a high-level person as well so final thing from me you said you're a short-term person so what's next like you have the, the the draft coming up this week training camps in the future things like that but what is the day-to-day -day until you get that call or get that opportunity what what is what is up next for you what's next is um 8 a.m workout with gus right <laughs> uh, with the pros um and then we're doing the spdl league um starting it, it really starts tomorrow um so doing that um and then on the weekends, I'm going to L.A., playing in the Drew League as well. All right. Oh, wow. But it's, yeah, it's been great. It's, so just going back and forth and trying to get better. Good deal. Well, I think that any organization would be happy and blessed to have you um, as a player or even on their staff because you bring a lot of positivity there. So thank you. Once again, Zach Chappelle, thank you so much for being here today, Zach. Thanks for having me.